Jamie Kay. Hello. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. How's that so far? It's good. It's nice. Yeah. Pretty sexy. It's a welcome uh, addition to your room. <laughs> Beats sitting on a towel. <laughs> or a bar stool. Welcome back to the monkey pads. As you can see, we now have a sofa, so it's definitely a little bit more hospitable. Mr. K very kindly brought down his um, gaming PC, which we'll run through in a little bit. In the meantime, we've had a delivery from Ben. Ben has been by. Yeah, Mr. Q. Some yeah. special little sauce. We've got lots of spice in the name of these three rather gorgeous Ben Q 32 inch curb monitors. These screens are pretty mad. We're going to get them out of the box now and then run through some of the sort of basic specs with you. Obviously over here we've got the Vasara Sim Rig. You guys would have probably noticed from my Instagram I've been packing all the merchandise. That's why there's been a little bit of lack of videos over the last week, but I've been doing my best to catch up. Uh, these are the lovely array of decals, all available on my website down here. Do a boy. You look right at home in there. Yeah. It's proper sick in itself, isn't it? Do you know what the front of this looks like? A Formula One car. I think it's an aerial atom. Are you all right, actually? Like the sort of space frame? I'd love to see a picture of an aerial atom. Compared, compared to, to that. The front. Yeah, they are pretty pretty sick. We're now going to get the BenQ monitors out of the boxes and sort of show you what they're like and go through a few of the basic features. The next port of call after that will be actually attaching the monitors to the Vasara mount, which you can see here. I spy with my little lights, 32 inches of goodness. Oh, look at that. That's cool. It's got a big old curve, isn't it? Yeah. That's crazy. These monitors are pretty sick. They've got a 2560 by 1440 resolution, 144 hertz refresh rates, obviously super, super sick for gaming. 1800R curvature, so you can see there they've got a pretty, pretty savage curvature on them. Loads of ports, you've got HDMI ports there, two of those, you've got display ports, you've got USB ports and a USB type C as well. Yeah. We actually need, what do we need? We need display port to display port, don't we Jay? Yeah. Um, so we haven't actually got those cables. We've ordered some from Amazon. They're gonna be here tomorrow by one o'clock. We have got one cable though, so we can probably get one monitor working tonight and then tomorrow we'll have the full, the full shebang, all three. We're actually gonna be removing these mounts. If you look down here, these are obviously ideal for a desktop computer, but we're gonna be mounting it uh, for a racing sim. So we've actually got Visa or Vesa adapter mounts here to allow us to mount them to the old Vasara sim up there. God, they're nice, man. Four screws in the back of these mounts, so Jamie's just gonna quickly Whip them out. To remove the mount, you just literally sort of pull it down and just right. pop her out. We've now just putting all the screws in and making sure everything's nice and tight because the last thing you want is the monitor falling on the floor. What do you think I will be like as a virtual sim racer, Anjay? Do you think as sort of seasoned drifters will smash the game or do you think it will be absolutely terrible? Let us know below. Cool. Nice and then man. you can adjust the height if you want to. Yeah. But I think that's pretty good, isn't it? Let's take this off. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. With the Pissarra sim, you get all the Fanatec gear that comes supplied with the uh, racing sim. Now Jamie's just on the net trying to download some of the uh, Fanatec drivers for all the Fanatec gear. While Jay's doing that, I'm going to quickly flip this mount round. What we discovered was, because we've got 32s, they don't quite reach each other. So I'm actually going to flip this mount round so we can actually slide it the other way and bring the monitors right next to each other. Done a little swap over, so now the brackets, I swapped all the um, the runners the other way around, so now you can slide it that way. Um, if you look at the other side, which I'm just about to do now, this one obviously still goes that way, so I'm gonna do exactly the same, flip these round, and I'll see you in five minutes. What happened, mate? It's definitely not the next day. <laughs> Unfortunately, last night, Jamie and I found beer and Grand Tour, and it got a bit late, so we, um, yeah, did that. <laughs> this morning, we are cracking on. We have flipped the mount, as you guys saw me doing last night, and Mr. K has now fitted the second monitor, looking pretty pimp. As you guys can see, we've now got Mr. K's PC in place, all up and running. <coughs> What's going on with your PC? I spent like four months just like looking at YouTube videos and researching and stuff and saving money. Uh, it's an EVGA RTX 2080 for the Win 3 graphics card, Z370 MSI motherboard, a i7-8700K CPU. Whew. 
<laughs> yeah. I just heard loads of numbers there, man. Loads but... of numbers and digits. <laughs> and, yeah. like, I'd never built, built a PC before. It's quite daunting because obviously you've got a lot of money that you're just kind of sticking together. But... Yeah. And a lot of different options as well. So can yeah, yeah, big time. Apparently with these kind of PCs, Jay, the main thing is really the heat because you've overclocked it, haven't you? Which kind of makes it run mm. a bit hotter. Yeah, the overclocking thing was something I sort of was quite interested in because you can kind of squeeze a bit more performance and otherwise it's just uh, performance that you've paid for in the in the hardware yeah but you're not getting the pc's up and running um obviously the sara sim's all in place we're just going to basically mount up the third monitor and then we're pretty much going to turn on the fanatec gear um, start a set of Corsa up and start messing with the settings. One massive thing that's really good with these monitors they've got very very thin bezels which i'm probably showing you from the wrong side we come around this side you can see they've got really really thin edges um, the last thing you probably need when you've got screens pressed together is a really, really thick bezel, which is obviously going to impede your, your view a little bit. So definitely a good thing about these BenQ monitors. Mr. K is just putting the last adapter plate on the back of the monitor. In the meantime, I'm just setting up all the power cables. I'm just kind of using a, a few cable ties on the back here just to keep the boxes out of the way. The Sim did actually offer to set this entire thing up for me. We're about to turn on the monitors for the first time. We've got the PC all connected up. Without further ado, would you turn on said monitors? I'll try to get more at the same time, ready? You, huh. that, you need three hands. Huh. Huh. Oh. Mm. Thank you. Cool. That is pimp. Woo. Oh yeah, you guys have probably noticed this monitor is sitting a little bit high at the moment. We do need to play around with the mounting, mounting positions a little bit. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're just trying to get it running for now. So that'll do. But yeah, that's looking pretty cool. We're now yeah. going to turn on the Fanatec CSO Elite. We have already downloaded the drivers for it. Loving the shift lights, man. What's it doing? So oh, it's testing itself? Yeah. It's testing itself. Crazy. <laughs> If you guys look down here, we've also got three display port to display port cables, which we ordered from Amazon. These came a little bit earlier on. Right, so yeah, now we're going to just turn on a set of Corsa for the very first time. Set of Corsa, seat time galore. So this is this isn't the latest set, is it? Is there another? Yeah, one? there is another one. Like, I mean, I don't really know much about it, but no. there is a comp competition. No one plays it. I don't know. That's random. Well, let's let us know below in the comment section why are we not playing the latest set of course, or why is this one better? Right. So Jay's just going through now, just um, fine tuning all the all the settings for the the pedals and the and the steering. Again, we're quite interested to hear your guys' thoughts. We've had a little look on Google at what the sort of recommended or what the preferred settings are for certain people. Um, if you've got a specific setting that you might think might benefit us, uh, yeah, feel free to put a comment down below. On the Fanatec wheel, you can adjust a whole load of different settings. You've got sensitivity, um, you've got force feedback. Jay's just selected a pretty sweet looking PS13. All right, we're going to do a little bit of a B suit to start off with. There we go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's that. pimp, man. It's like a team burst colours as well, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, Jay's just adjusting the field of view to kind of sort of try and adjust it to where our screens are. Again, this does involve a, a bit of fine tuning and it's sort of down to personal preference, but, um, but yeah, I'm sure we'll, we'll get the hang of it over time. Vasara Sim and Ben Q, if you're watching this, you absolute legends. Oh, that's some, uh, <laughs> some seriously high settings right there. Was it loads of force feedback? Yeah, let's try and drive it, the yeah, force yeah. feedback, isn't it? All right, where's the, where's the entrance to the track? I don't know, I've seen it, I've seen it on Noriara. It's around here somewhere, there we go, yeah, there yeah. it is. Anyone come in? No, you're not. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <laughs> Pulling out. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Let's give it full boost. Let's try. I'm gonna try and drive it normally. Why? Lots of force feedback. Yeah, loads. We've got a lot of force feedback, so Jay's just gonna go into the force feedback settings and bring it down a little bit. It's probably on. Maybe Ooh, try 20. fifty or maybe or sixty. Yeah, fifty. Uh, what we have sort of noticed is this is a proper workout, like when you drive a car and do a proper lap in a car, um, you really sort of feel it in your arms like you would in, in a real car, so it's pretty pretty cool. Good for a, good for a workout. <laughs> I love how Jamie's actually making the noises. <laughs> <laughs> He's like... <laughs> oh, mate, this looks so... He's doing the jump! <laughs> that was sick! Mate, that's savage. Oh, no! Mate, oh... That was bad for a first man. First this is go, sick, it? man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, 
almost know. shoved it in the wall. You literally nearly died, man. Oh, if we jump again. I can't get him off it. We are pretty much going to wrap that video up here. Tune in next time to see some actual gameplay. We'll actually get it connected up to Studio Labs and actually record some of the gameplay so you guys can watch some of the madness unfold. If you guys could give Vasara Sim and BenQ a cheeky little follow, I really, really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you soon. I can't get him off it. <laughs>